and you are not afraid of anything. Is that okay? Yes. But let us pray. Let us pray that this continuous devotion to the Ugandan matters grows and that we uh, continue to be bearers of good news. Learn to visit. Those you have missed, those you have not visited in a long time, today Mother Mary visited. As you go to visit Namogongo, when you go back, go and visit another person and bring her the good news, okay? Yeah. Visit those who have not visited. Leave the phones aside. <laughs> Leave the phones aside. Sometimes we are even eating at home, sitting at table, and we are all playing with the phones. We are just there. We don't even have time for each other. We are just playing with the phones, yet we are together. You are sitting here, not talking with the person who is in front of you. You are talking to a person who is very far away from you. Why can't you talk to the one who is next to you? Hello? Hello. Are we together? Yeah. Let phones not replace relationships. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Talk with each other. Don't be at table eat, and then you are on the phone talking. Huh? Phones should not replace relationship because good news will be seen in how we relate with each other is that okay yeah. that is the, that is the good news what are you to your brother and your sister right there where you stay that is good news so let us take that spirit with us and let namogongo be a blessing to all of us as you move with all the different intentions the ones deep down in your heart, the intentions of those who have asked you to pray for them, those, all the burdens and everything. When you reach there, leave them in Amugongo, go back home free. Yeah. Mm. Yes, because the matters are there, they are going to intercede for us. Mother Mary is interceding for us. So, And the message of today, which I want also to share with people, is that visitation has lost meaning in our days, in our nowadays. People no longer visit each other as they used to visit. You visit somebody's home, they are already wondering, when are you leaving? You know, because maybe you are eating their food, you are taking so much time. We no longer have time to sit with each other and listen to each other and talk with each other. Even friends. Friends, they go out. But what do they go out to do? Just to eat choma, drink mwenge, beer, and come back. But you don't even get to know what is your friend going through. You don't visit them to sit to be with them. Like Mary visited Elizabeth, she would have said, no, I'm also pregnant, I will not go. She went and sat with Elizabeth, and we are told for three months, also looking after her. How much time do we have with one another? How much time do we sit with one another to listen to their problems, to their challenges? That's why you even see among friends, people commit suicide. Why? Because the friendship is very empty. It is not deep. We sit at table, we are playing with phones, talking to people who are far away, but the people who are around us, we do not talk to them. So what, what are, have the phones come to enhance communication or to, to deprive us of that relationship? So that's why I'm using this visit of the Mother Mary, that we revive the aspect of staying with somebody, sitting with somebody, being with somebody, listening to them. Because people are going through a lot, and sometimes what they only need is a listening ear. Somebody to stay with them or somebody to give them a tap on the back and say, it is well, you are going to be fine. Most of the times we do not have that because we are too busy with other things. And uh, I really pray, I really pray that uh, people can improve on this aspect of this relational aspect that we sit with people, listen to people, know who is your friend, who is your cousin, who is your brother, who are your relatives, how are they doing? We are becoming too individualistic and that is killing uh, the family, that's killing relationship, that is killing friendship. Okay, Sai, so we're going to move with you up to, up to Namugongo. Now, in case you have any challenge, you report to them for me to attention. We are part of you and shall move. My question is, my question is that you who made at night, if you get yourself uh, when you not reach Namugongo at night, branch the nearest church and stay there until they follow you there. Don't move at night. Number two, avoid crimes. Some of you, some of us are, may not be honest. Selfishness is going on. Don't snatch somebody's bag. Your friend's bag has moved from Kenya, has moved from where, your phone. Only contact you see his phone. 
it will go in the my, some money which we may use going back home. Please let us believe in one faith that we will be honest to one another. <laughs>